sums it up. I think I met Ron, and uh, I, here's the thing: is is like, and, and you were asked the question, who, who's the most like their characters? And and the thing is, is we're all sitting, you know, except for these two, we're all sitting up here. We're actors, and we're doing the show, and 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 there and they and people talk about the improv. And the thing is, is this is not our medium. It's it's the writers and it's the creators of the show that created these characters. So people ask me about my character, but it's not really mine. It's kind of ours. And and the reason that it went from Andy being kind of like a dickhead is I think that maybe that's what they thought originally. And for whatever reason, I always get auditions to play the dickhead. It's like, <laughs> like, oh, we need the douche dickhead. Let's get Chris in here. And I go, I'm like, oh, play, you know. And, and then as it evolved, and, the, and week after week, you know, these characters are allowed to evolve because you're writing a new script every week. And, and so then they were like, I don't know, maybe you looked at me and they're like, hey, hey, he's actually not that much of a dickhead. Like, uh, let's uh, make the character a little, uh, you know, let's draw from certain things that we see in Chris to make Andy. And I think that's the same thing with all of us, you know, like uh, the wood shop that is Ron Swanson's wood shop in, in, on the show is actually Nick's real wood shop that he has here in LA. And, you know, like, uh, I think, didn't, didn't Adam, didn't you bankrupt the town when you were in the <laughs> 